thank you so much for joining me in this next video i'm so excited for you guys to be a part of this a lot of people have been requesting about it and if you couldn't tell by the title by now it's about columbia university graduate school and journalism and communications studies specifically so welcome to the video i'm so excited for you guys to be here my name is cammy simmons and you are in the right place if you're thinking about somewhat thinking about or you know maybe don't even know if you want to pursue graduate school or not this is the video for you before i start i made some notes for you guys i'm so excited so this is my white house um portfolio book that i bought while i was working there and i take it with me on all kinds of interviews anywhere i go because it just gives me the confidence to say you know what you deserve to be in this space and even without this, I deserve to be in that space because that's just the way that I walk through life. A graduate school, for those who don't know, is optional. Um, I wrote like a little bullet point, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to stay on track. But it is optional. I decided to go to journalism school, Columbia School of Journalism Graduate School, the Columbia School of Journalism, number one. Okay, okay right here in New York City. A lot of people go because they want to specialize in something and they also want to meet and network with people and build um, relationships basically with people that they're going to eventually work in industries with. But you get it after you get your Bachelor of Arts or your undergraduate degree so you e can either get your Master's or your PhD. Hi Cami. I am so thankful that you put up this post. I'm a rising senior at Columbia. Okay, okay, Columbia representing. Planning on applying to CJS this fall, CJS, Columbia Journalism School. Can you talk a bit about the application process as well as your own experience in the MS program? Did you take time off between undergrad and grad studies? I did not take time off. I went straight from undergrad into graduate school. So I had finished, I got my theater and economics degree um, for undergrad at Kalamazoo College. Did not have any student loans and said, hey, either I'm gonna go right into the workforce or I'm gonna go pursue graduate school. So I applied to six schools, yes, six, in addition to Columbia. And I said, let me show the people, you know, some stuff. <laughs> There was University of Southern California in California, um, Medill at Northwestern University, Syracuse University, which is in New York, American University School of Communications inside of Washington, D.C., Boston University in Boston, Massachusetts, and then finally, the Columbia Journalism School graduate school of journalism so i applied to six schools and i applied to them right after i was done or actually while i was completing my undergraduate degree so i was getting together equipment or getting together material and make sure i had my recommendations i had a whole bunch of checklists a whole bunch of like i was very organized because my senior year was crazy i was taking classes at the bigger university um, because i wanted to finish my economics um, degree so i was taking classes at the bigger university so i could do that i was taking classes at my institution i was applying to schools i was finishing up an our ship it was it was a crazy senior year but now that I look back on it it was like it was worth it you know you, we do a lot so that we could be able to look back and say you know what it was worth it and guess what it's got me to where I am today um, so yeah going back um, I applied right after undergraduate school and the application consisted of a personal statement it consisted of short questions a resume transcripts um, recommendations I didn't have to take the GRE specifically for Columbia, but I did have to take the GRE for some other schools that I took. Columbia has a specialized test specifically for their journalism program. Columbia School of Journalism is only a one-year program, so that was a plus. A lot of my programs were also one year, the ones that I applied to, and it's also a, pa a pass or fail um, grading system. So there's no grades. You either get uh, honors, pass, a regular pass, a low pass, or a fail. Because I did propose a question before I did this video on what people wanted to hear. And a lot of people ask, do I need experience? And that's always the common question, even when I'm in um, like conversation with people about my experience and just about graduate school in general. Now for um, this specific program, journalism, when I was applying to all these schools, I 
I came from a theater arts background, so I did a lot of my experience either through internships or through like extra um, curriculars or projects that I was just simply interested in. I used to work at the radio station at my school because it was a stress reliever. I created a lot of videos online because that was also a stress reliever. And then I also did like little classes um, at my school that they did offer like documentary, TV production, and all that. And I compiled all that video work and that written work to create my whole portfolio through links through a website and I sent that as part of my application so I could talk a little bit more about resumes specifically because um, there are like certain keywords not only when you're applying to graduate school but also um, when you get into your career for jobs and even those people who are looking for internships who are in college or out of college because you can be at, out of college for internships so I'll be actually releasing a webinar on that soon and then also having a video to talk about that briefly okay so um, I also want to go back to the personal statement Inside of the personal statement, they just wanted to get to know, like, what were your goals for going to graduate school? So I talked a lot about that and how I wanted to build a portfolio. I also let them know that, yes, I am going to graduate school because I want to build that network of people. Um, and so, yeah, that was that was a long process. But when you start doing these applications, you start to see a pattern, you know, and then you have to just tweak things here and there so that they can so that you could be able to market yourself to those schools. And I'll be talking in videos, specifically cover letters, resumes, tran or not transcripts, because I mean, that's pretty straightforward, but um, personal statements, all that kind of stuff, because I just feel like you need that whether you're going to graduate school or not just to. Um, outline your goals and outline like where you see yourself in five years where you see yourself in ten years so I'll be talking about that um, so yeah I started this past August of 2017 and I just got my degree May 16th 2018 so yes it was a one-year program it was intense it was challenging I encountered a lot of growing pains but it was totally worth it. I have my master's now and I don't have to go to school ever again unless I want to get that PhD or get a degree in business because I said if I was going to go to school again, it's going to be in business. And my thing is like if I'm going to go to school, I'm not just going to go just to go, but I'm going to make sure it aligns with goals that I have for myself. There are a lot of girls in communications and journalism, so there's that. <laughs> so just be ready for that. I mean, there's guys in the program too, but the majority I've noticed of the schools, and a lot of people feel the same way, is that there's a majority of women, young women, and older women too, because we actually had a 60-year-old, 60 60 year I think, in our program. So that just shows you that it's never too late to go back to school. Um, it was a very intense program, but it created... A space for me to create my own opportunities. I only took two video classes that were offered at the program. One um, which was video one, um, that was the prerequisite for video newsroom which was the last semester and so because of that I created my own opportunities. I started creating videos outside of class, I started creating a lot of projects and to this day when I send people samples of my work that is like the work that they're very interested in finding more about because I have an interest in social media and so I studied a lot of that outside of school. There wasn't a class dedicated to that but like I said I created my own opportunities. Um, and then another question was what are the options for the graduate school? For my school we have the general program which is um, a lot of the broadcast students join that and then we also have documentary, we have data, um, and then my understanding is we also have some type of international um, collaboration. We did a lot of break-in news. It was a very writing intensive program, less video, which I thought it was going to be, but more writing. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but do I have any regrets? That was another question that, that someone proposed to me. And no, I don't. I learned a lot. I created my own opportunities. A lot of students who did journalism and or communications for four years prior to this program have other. For me, I learned a lot. It was challenging, but now that I look back on it, I'm like, those are growing pains to make me be better at what I want to do overall with my career in the future. So, 
Um, that's how I feel about that. And then, will I recommend it to anyone else? Of course, it's Columbia Journalism School and it's well known. Just coming from a school like this, like you are gonna be able to have a lot of doors open for you. Internships. Okay, so during the program, you can take internships. I had went to the Career Center early on um, before like, or do, while school was starting because you could schedule like your times or whatever with the career counselors. And um, we had talked and discovered, or not discovered, but we came to an agreement like, hey, you already have enough internships, you need to be looking for a job. Now, I did start the job hunt like way in the beginning of the school year just because I'm the type of person like, I need to be ahead of the game so that I can be able to get to where I want to get. I did not get a job or anything while I was in school, or actually I did. I had a few freelance positions. I will say I had a, a few like great opportunities throughout my time but not a full-time job or internship so what I did was in addition to all of the opportunities that a lot of companies gave me I was also producing work to continue to get my face out there so that goes back to like creating that opportunity for you Columbia did not have a social media class that did not have a YouTube class which I wish it did but I created those opportunities for myself and just because something does not exist does not mean you can't create it. I'm all about creating your own opportunities and that's what I did. Um, and then also I went to a lot of events while I was in New York. I decided that hey while I was up here I was going to take advantage of it and so I got in tune with some websites, met some people through social media and then started going to events and getting into certain circles that I still use to this day to continue building my network and building um, with people who are interested in similar things as me and I'll be talking about that in another video as well more in depth. Um, but I would say overall that when you're thinking about graduate school, know your game plan. Know what you want to get out of it. Know what your goals are before going there. At least have an idea because your goals are going to evolve and they're going to change um, over time. But for me, it was like I knew what I wanted. It may have diverted a little bit or, you know, um, like shaped in a different way, but at the end of the day, I left with what I wanted. And I'm proud that I had that mindset because you're paying, my, my institution, my graduate program was $100,000 for a year. So you're investing time, you're investing money. And so I just say to people like, know what you wanna get out of it. And then on top of that, for me, I knew I wanted to go big or go home. I knew Columbia School, Graduate School of Journalism was number one and I was just like, I, I'm going to get the best of the best because that's just the way I feel about anything that I do, um, not only educationally, professionally, and personally. And then as for competition, because people ask about this, I think that there is enough work out there, especially with this digital and social media space. There's so many different opportunities. There's ways that you could create your own opportunities. A lot of people in the journalism school, they're always like looking to the side, like to see what people are doing. But my thing is, if you focus on making yourself better and only competing with yourself, you know, like Cardi, Cardi B says, like, I'm competing with myself, or whatever. She makes some little, one of her signature sounds or whatever. But my thing is, like, if you you already know what you want to do so focus on that don't worry about those who are around you congratulate them and keep it moving so that's the mindset that I had and my goal was to build relationships with them I wasn't looking at them like my competitors I was looking at them like my future colleagues you know I call them my student colleagues also came in like I said with a website my social media was already popping but then when I got here I challenged myself to even make it more popping so I started developing my YouTube page a lot more my Instagram Instagram, um, Twitter. Um, Columbia did not have a social media or digital media class, but like I said, if you create your own opportunities, you don't have to worry. You know what I mean? If you don't see something that's already existent or already in existence, put it into existence. That's the way I look at it. Like you are paying a hundred thousand dollars, but the thing is, like when you're in the program and you know what you want to get out of it, whatever that is for you. If it's getting that Ivy League degree, only going to school for one year to get it, whatever it is, um, you just got to make it for what you want to make it. And I did that in some, okay? Because that's the motto I live by. And then by the end, it was graduation. You guys can also check out um, 
the vlog slash Insta story that I did. Um, I didn't have my camera that day, so I said, let me get creative. Um, so you can check out that. That's my second vlog on my channel. And then um, also I took a lot of pictures. My grandma came up here, my grandma's sister, my aunt. Um, my godmother, my twin sister, who's also in graduate school, doing production and entertainment related things. So we're in the same field and just a lot of people came out. So at the end of the day, it was like, this is the, um, the legend or the legacy. There we go. The legacy that I want to leave behind. I mentioned in that video that I'm, I was, I am a first generation college student, first one in my family to go to undergraduate school. So going to graduate school was even like, it was like out of this world, honestly. Um, and I know that I'm making a lot of people proud and I know that I'm breaking a lot of cycles. So, you know, for me, it wasn't just getting that piece of paper. It was like, you know, this is like the legacy that I want to leave behind, not only for my cousins and the younger ones in my family, but for generations to come. Hi, Cami. I hope you're doing well. I saw that you go to Columbia University and I'm interested in attending. I'm currently a prospective um, law student but out of fear, did we say fear? No, mm -mm. I'll address that in a minute though. I did not apply to Columbia. I have since gotten into almost every school I've applied to and I am wondering if it's worth waiting a year and instead applying for Columbia rather than attending school this fall. How has your experience been at Columbia? Do you feel like the job market in New York is better than in DC, especially when it comes to law? How is the quality of life? Does the cost outweigh the benefit? Please do help. I haven't gotten the chance to watch your YouTube video, but will do soon um, as I'm going off work. Okay, girl. First of all, we do not fear anything, so I just want to put that out there. Um, I was very fearful, and I want to say, when I was applying to graduate school, that's why I applied to five other schools. Honestly, because in my mind, it was like, oh my gosh, okay, I have to be prepared. Like, let me apply to these five schools just in case I don't get into Columbia. And my thing is, now that I look back on it, Columbia was my first choice. So even if I didn't get in it, I should have just applied to one school. And then if I didn't get into it, come back again the next round, apply, and just keep applying until I get my dream school. So I, to answer that question, if you have fear, but you know that that's your first option, apply. And what's the worst that they could say but no? It's going to make you stronger. You just come again, and you say, I'm here, and you keep applying until they know your name. So I'll put that out there. But um, your other question is, how has your experience been at Columbia? It's been challenging. It's been a life experience, but guess what? I got Columbia on my name. I got the paper, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they sent an electronic form. I was like, Columbia, y'all on your own game? You're like, y'all send an electronic before you send it in the mail? Okay, do you feel like the job market in New York is better than DC, especially when it comes to law? Um, I will say it just depends on industry to industry. For me, I know in my industry, it's like New York, Atlanta, LA. Those are like the three places. LA is my dream spot, so I know I'm gonna end up there eventually. For law, there's a lot of attorneys in DC, but I would say just research and start asking people who are actually in your industry to determine that for yourself. How's the quality of life? It's very crowded in New York, but I would say like to um, pay attention to like giving yourself self-care. So whether that's going to a park, um, the trains are very crowded, um, but you just gotta be able to find that balance. Okay, so does the cost outweigh the benefit? I think yes. My thing is you're investing in yourself, you're investing in the name. You just have to look at the bigger picture and that's the way that I looked at it. So I think it's totally worth it. And at the end of the day, it's just money and you can pay it off and you can find ways to do that. And I'll be talking to you guys about that soon too. So stay tuned. I'm interning in New York City this summer with ABC News and, and I am super interested in Columbia Journalism School post-grad. Are you based in New York? Yes, I am. Would love to grab coffee if you're free around at all this summer. I'd love to grab coffee, coffee with you too. In fact, speaking of coffee, I have a meetup that I'm currently outlining right now. 
and I'll be releasing that information soon because a lot of people have been asking about all kinds of stuff, not only educationally, but personally and professionally. So we may be coming to a city near you soon, but stay tuned. Also, how did you choose your specialty? So I knew that I wanted to be in front of the camera. I knew I was interested in the digital and social media space. And so general studies allowed me to take all kinds of different courses within the program. So that's how I chose that. Um, all right, so then she says, I appreciate any insight you could provide. And finally, congratulations on your new job. May God guide and protect you throughout your transition. Uh, yes, um, I also got a job two weeks before graduation, I think. And I'm very blessed to be there. I work at BET as their international producer and the digital team. So I'm very happy to be part of that team. And I did that with hard work and just um, speaking up about what I really wanted. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, write in the comments below. Not only more questions that you have regarding graduate school, Columbia University, University journalism and communications, but also like... Um, outside of the educational sphere of things, um, if you have a question on something personal, go ahead, write that down in the subscription box. If you have something um, based on professional, outside of the school um, environment, outside school topics, write that down. Um, but make sure you like, subscribe, pass it on to other people. I'm going to be sharing some amazing information in here. And my goal is to encourage people to turn their dreams into reality and to give them practical steps to do so every single day because consistency, focus, and discipline are very important. But thank you for joining me, you guys. Until then, make sure um, you continue to do you because you're all that in trendsetters. As I say to all of my subscribers, if you're new, welcome to the family. I'm so excited to have you guys be a part of this. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.